Man, it is almost 11 o'clock. What is wrong with you people? What is wrong with you kids here in East Coast? I, I mean, like every five minutes, I thought this was going to be from five to like eight. But no, the doorbell keeps ringing. Even if I'm like in my office, even if I'm like trying to shoot a video for the past hour and a half. I'm like giving out candies on Halloween till like almost 11. Like what's wrong with you kids? Go home. Shoo, shoo. Go home, go to sleep. Jeez. So anyway, guys, today um, we're going to be doing our video of... Uh, Moon, Mercury, Jupiter, and Saturn. And what happens when Moon, Mercury, Jupiter, and Saturn are conjunct in your particular horoscope? And as always, if you do not know, if you have this conjunction where it's placed, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, all your other astrological details, all my new consultation, nakshatra readings, dasha readings, for that, check out the links here, check out my full astrological report including my books, Astrology, Conjunction, Aspects, and Mahadashas at the Speed of Light, including all my consultations at this link. So, um, the other thing that I wanted to actually add, um, as you guys know, the great astrologer Chakrapani Ulal passed away on uh, October 28th morning. And I made a video live on, uh, you know, giving my condolences and, and, you know, giving a message on his death, which after I went live with it pretty much everybody was complaining like what's wrong with your audio and then afterwards when i saw my audio it was like i'm talking and then the next 10 seconds are no audio then audio comes in it's no audio so i'm gonna make a special message again like hopefully tonight or, t or maybe tomorrow uh it's too late now about you know life and about chakrapani ulal and you know the great astrologer he was so he would probably wish for all of us to carry on his work of Jyotish and pass on the lineage of Vedic astrology to the next generation. So today we're going to be looking into the, um, you know, uh, the conjunction of Moon, Mercury, Jupiter, Saturn. So what happens when they're conjunct in your horoscope? So first of all, what is Moon? Moon represents the mind, mother, happiness, comforts. You know, moon represents your uh, emotional connection with the world. It is like your hard drive from past life. Moon, actually, if you notice, there's a reason why moon is here. Moon is like, imagine a hard drive the size of a moon, which actually moon is. And everybody who's born, the hard drive does a Wi-Fi connection to feed in the the body that has been just born feeding all the karma and all the things that it's supposed to remember in this lifetime the things that it's supposed to accomplish in this lifetime so moon is very very important now especially in vedic astrology then you have mercury mercury represents your analytical intelligence logical intelligence your speech your communication your skills mercury is your hands and shoulders and then you have jupiter the divine intelligence Jupiter is the universal law. Jupiter's religion, spirituality, gurus, astrologers, philosophers. You know, it's anybody who guides you to the right path. You know, a lot of people consider a lot of people their guru, but they may not be uh, guiding them onto the right path. That means that person cannot be a guru. They're supposed to guide you to the right path. You know, this is why I'm not a guru. Because a guru will not tell you to drink or, you know, eat non-veg or do this or do that most of the things that i do so that's why you can never say oh you're my guru no, you, i can't because then I'll, i have a responsibility to leading you down to a pure path which i really do want to believe me on this hopefully in the next four or five years ten years you know if i'm still here i would want to lead you down to the pure path but till then i would like to uh have you uh you know um engage in my passion for astrology then you have Saturn. Saturn is boundaries, restriction, discipline, structure, organization, sacrifices, you know, uh, duty and commitment. So when these four planets are conjunct together, first of all, because moon becomes very important here, because moon is the mind, you know, it's like everything is affecting your mind. This person become very structured and disciplined about what they want to learn. Very intelligent person, extremely intelligent. They know they have the discipline 
to attain the highest of knowledge. They have the discipline to learn and comprehend things. They are structured. Saturn is structured. Saturn structures their intelligence and their mind to learn something higher than themselves. Like these are the people who would easily learn the Bible and the, the Quran or the Bhagavad Gita, philosophy, you know, biology, environmental science, you know, mechanical science, science and research. These are natural scientists. And I'm talking about a, a, like less than a fraction of all the scientists that you know in the world. These represent the fraction of the scientists who not only use the practical science, but they also realize that there's something more divine working at the same time that I'm trying to discover something here. Because remember, when you look at a phys when you go to a physicist, you go to a scientist and they say, look, I discovered this, 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 and this. And this is how I discovered how a universe works. This is who I am and I'm your teacher. What these, this person will doesn't understand that why did you discover it? There's no need to discover it. It was already there. Everything that is being discovered is there. You're just finding. You know, if so, let's say they find the God particle. Like they have found pions and pion particle and, and uh, you know, the antimatter particles, protons, neutrons, all these scientists from the 18th, 19th century who discovered all these things. They don't become something special to discover these things. They were already there. They were, this is how, that's why the universe is working because of these things. So you just came and saw and found it. Oh, look, I found something. I'm the greatest. No, you're not the greatest. You are somebody who simply just saw something that is just working. That's it. Let it work. So this person, this particular scientist will be like, yes, I discovered it. But at the same time, I know there's something now more divine and far greater intelligence working in this universe than just my ability to comprehend something. This is like those Einstein and Tesla type uh, scientists. This also shows that your mother was an extremely intelligent, methodical person. Somebody who taught you discipline and how to learn something properly. Your mother was your first guru. Your mother was your first disciplinarian and your mother was your first teacher of your skill set. But especially as you know, you have two planets of education here, which is Mercury and Jupiter. And when they are combined with Moon and Saturn, countless time I see environmental science, I see work related to biology, marine science, especially it's in the water sign, zoology. And at the same time, I also see people who go into, you know, mathematics. But again, usually they have had an aspect of Sun or Ketu upon this conjunction. But mainly this is the person and also law as well. Law becomes very strong with this conjunction, especially, you know, in uh, fire signs and earth signs. I mean, this, this is the person who was an excellent lawyer. I've seen lawyer in water signs, air signs, you know, all kinds of signs, but especially the earth, earth and fire. These are the two signs that do very well with law because these are the more practical people and people who are out there ready to burn the other person, ready to stomp the rock on the other person. Um, what we also see with this is that whenever this person, uh, let's say you have this conjunction and you run through the Mahadasha of Saturn, especially in this four planetary conjunction, you run through the Mahadasha of Saturn, that will be the most excellent period for you. You will prosper much more than Jupiter Mahadasha because Jupiter gives its blessing to all the planets that it sits with, versus Saturn restricts all the planets that it sits with. Mercury doesn't know which way to go. And Moon was only influenced by all the other planets. So it's, Mercury and Moon will give mixed baggage. But with Saturn being with natural three benefics and Jupiter being there, excellent time period for that. Okay. So guys, this is my analysis of uh, Moon, Mercury, Jupiter, Saturn conjunction. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you want to know where your conjunction is placed, all the other astrological details, my books, reports, and translation. For that, check out the links here. Otherwise, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.